Welcome! In this demo, we will see how to set up a connection profile to various systems using Studio Connection Profile Wizard. On the left hand side of the tool, just above the Data Source Explorer, you will see a handshake icon. Click on that icon to invoke the Connection Profile Wizard. Now select the data source for the system where you want to connect to. So let me select it as Teradata in this demo. You can give a name to the profile. This helps creating multiple connections to the same system if you want to. So let me give the name as Demo1 here. You can also give a description. Click on Next button to move forward. If you notice, the Teradata Embedded JDBC Driver Template is selected as default in this drop-down list. If you wish to create a new JDBC Driver Template, click on this asterisk button and it will it will invoke the wizard for this to create a new JDBC driver template. Now enter the system name here so my system name is test server enter the username password. If you are using advanced authentication such as LDAP or Kerberos select the authentication mechanism from the drop-down list Otherwise, the default password protected login is used. Optionally, you can also set your default database here. You can check the save password option if you want to save the password. You can add or remove connection properties to or from the list of JDBC connection properties. Click on this add button to bring up the dialog with the list of the JDBC properties and you can go here and select any of the JDBC properties that you wanted to add. Now notice in, in Studio the default transaction mode is ANSI whereas in SQL Assistant it is Teradata. So if you are a SQL Assistant user you may want to go ahead and change this. You can do that by clicking on the same add button. Select here as transaction mode and select it as Terra. So this will replace whatever was existing there. Cache properties button provide an option to, to cache schema metadata. So click on this button okay. So it is connecting to the database that I have provided user ID and password for. And then here you can click all the schemas or, or the databases that you want to cache in your local hard drive. Delete cache file will, will delete your cache properties if you don't want it. And a connect every time to the workbench is started will connect this profile every time you start the application. You can click on the test connection button to test the connection. So our ping is successful. And then you can press finish to connect to the system. So now you can see that uh, demo 1, our new connection profile is created here. And you can see all the databases under that profile. This part is called Data Source Explorer as I said before. This is Project Explorer where you can store all your resource file like SQL file, query file which you want to run later point in time. This is your SQL editor. So this is how we connect to a system using Teradata Studio Connection Profile. Thank you.